welcome to week four. Look how far you've all come. I mean, look at all these beautiful autumn stitches, all these rich berry stitches. Just can't believe how far we've all come together. So this week we have only got this smallish panel to do from these lovely olive triple stitches up to the ivory triple stitches here. So this week we're still working in the beautiful autumn colours. We're throwing in a bit of everything. So we've got some fee stitches. We've got some lovely rich berry bubble stitches. We've got some back loop and front loop stitches. And we've also got my favourite, the loop stitch in this lovely copper colour. And again, we're moving on to bubble stitches and the lovely sturdy lemon peel stitch up to the copper puff stitches. So I really hope you enjoy your last panel this week. As we've got no stitches to learn this week, I'm sharing something special with you. This week I would like to share with you some of my favourite tips when I'm taking pictures. Some of the tips I've learned along the way. So I would really love for you to join in and watch some of my helpful tips, tutorials, and then try taking some pictures yourself and make sure again to share them on our Facebook page. And also if you're on Instagram, why don't you share them over on Instagram? Make sure you tag me at Sweet Shana because I would love to see and I would also love to share them in my Instagram stories. This week is slightly different. I would like to invite you all into my home. This week, I would like to share with you some of my favourite photography tips that I use for my Instagram account at Sweet Shana. So, when it comes to taking my photographs, I like to work with as much natural light as possible. This room in my house radiates the best light, so this is where I tend to take most of my photographs. I'm lucky that I've got this large surface to create my fit pictures on. I do tend to take mainly flat lay photographs. I like to work with a neutral background. I know a lot of people that may use a large sheet of white card. Some people use wallpaper off cards to create their flat lays on, which is equally as great. Um, also, I like to add layers to my flat lay, so I may include a fluffy rug. I may include these lovely placemats here to add that extra layer. So um, when I take my pictures, I do like to create a warm, fuzzy feeling. This time of year, as, we're, as the winter evenings are drawing in, it's perfect to create a cosy picture just by adding a few simple, lovely props. Here I've got some candles. You can light some candles, include them in your picture. You can add some fairy lights to just create that little sparkle or festive vibe. Dried flowers are also a really great addition. Pine cones. You've got your yarn that you're using to make your blanket with. So I've got some of the berry colours here in the soft twist displayed in a lovely basket. I've also rolled some up into some cute little balls here. Um, not forgetting some holly with some berries on. You can scatter some leaves into your pictures. And also, don't forget to include your tools that you're using to make your blanket with. And lastly, a lovely cup of coffee. So um, let me take you through some examples of how I would usually take my picture. Here's my first example of a picture. In this picture, I have folded my winter berries blanket up. I have played with lots of different angles. Um, in this angle, I've got it slightly offset to the side. I've included those lovely little yarn balls that I rolled up earlier. I've pulled the tails out slightly to add a bit more texture to the picture. I'm also going to include my Serdar crochet hook and my scissors. Now I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the layout. So I tend to take most of my pictures on my iPhone. I usually like to use a square frame. And when I'm happy with the position of my pictures and all my props, I click away on my phone until I've got the perfect shot. So in this picture, I've slightly folded the blanket out. I've given it a bit of a ruffle. I want to give this picture a cozy five, so I've added a mug of coffee. I've stuck some pine cones in there. Again, I've got my crochet tools and scattered a few leaves. This picture, I really want to show off the texture. So I've got some loop stitches in there, some bubble stitches in there, and showcasing all the rich berry colors. This is a really simple and effective way, again, to create a lovely picture. Lastly, here's a little cheeky tip I've learned over the years as being a crochet designer. If I want to take a quick and easy picture and the light's good, and I want to add a little bit of my own personality into my picture, all I do is I paint my thumbnail, just my thumbnail, a colour to match my blanket. So I've painted it red here to match the red in the blanket. And again, I snap away until I've got 
a picture I'm happy with. So now you should all know how to take a lovely picture. So why not share it on hashtag Zerda Makes? Don't forget to pop on over and comment on your fellow makers' photographs. Share some winterberry love and we'll see you next week for the border. Mm -hmm.